from Westridge watches The King of Queens, weeknights at 9 and 10 on WCIU Channel 26, The U. You got it. This is Stooja Palooza, where this week we're doing paint by numbskulls, and I'm the head numbskull, Rich Coase. And speaking of doing artwork, we're thrilled to have with us a guy who did some artwork on just about every show that he did. He's a Chicago television legend who entertained generations with Giggle Snort Hotel and Cartoon Town and the only man alive who could tame Dirty Dragon. It's BJ himself, Bill Jackson. Bill, thank you so much for coming here. Thank you, thank you. Thank it's you. so nice to have you here, and uh, we did want to mention that Bill is now a part of the prestigious Silver Circle of the Chicago Television Academy, which is given to people who have made outstanding contributions to Chicago TV, which he certainly has. And the one question everybody was asking me when I told them you were going to be on here was, Two questions, actually. <laughs> uh, three. The Spanish Inquisition asked me if, uh, first of all, where do you live now, and are you still doing television? Uh, I live in Central California, just a little bit above uh, San Luis Obispo, which if anybody's traveling up the coast, they'll have to go through. And no, I'm not doing any television. Haven't for quite some time. When I left Chicago, I joined the California Institute of the Arts as a teacher and uh, um, administrator and I was there for about 11 years worked with some fascinating people a lot of creative sparks flying there I'll tell you well and, uh, I can't think of anybody better to, to teach about creativity because on your shows you were the writer the producer you did the voices you did the artwork you were on camera talent that's something that's very unusual in television today and i think that that's one of the reasons why you know you were like you know the one man dynamo in this kind of stuff and i don't think that's something that that anybody does for the most part anymore or is allowed to <laughs> well see that's true yeah yeah uh, well thank you thank you Rich. that yeah i did a lot but i had a lot of help i want to tell you as you have to know of course sure but, uh, if you do a production show, it takes the uh, solid effort of a lot of people behind you, and I had that for the most part. Uh, the people I had uh, just were, were marvelous, and they put their heart into it, and it shows. So they, they deserve this Silver Circle Award right with me. Oh, sure, and everybody remembers all the great characters, and I learned something, that two of the characters, Weird and Dirty Dragon, were based on real people. That's true. Not only Weird and Dirty Dragon, but others, although <clears throat> I, I think I use kind of composites. I'd borrow a little here and a little there. But uh, you're right. Yep, that's true. And uh, I have to say that Weird is based on somebody in Chicago. Is that person <laughs> still in Chicago? I think so. And what are you looking at me for? Wait a minute. <laughs> a question, again, that a lot of people ask about is the smoke from Dirty Dragon. I know originally it wasn't done the way that you did it at Channel 32. I, did you start Originally, with like powder? No. Yeah, I started with a powder. Oh, yeah, it's very basic. Uh, didn't really work <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever. It's just enough. You'd finish, you know, shooting the dragon, and you say, "Oh, that was that was very interesting." Didn't work, you know. <laughs> but we finally got the the smoke uh, perfected pretty well at Channel Thirty Two. Now, did it occasionally, through an over enthusiastic stooge hand, get out of control? I remember one time that I was at the the. Uh, post office mm -hmm. and I was supposed to be bringing the I was going to bring the dragon up and I was operating the dragon myself yeah and I was standing by the post office and uh, <laughs> I kept repeating his line there's no mail today and uh, uh, no smoke came out and I what's the matter with the smoke what's the matter with the smoke and I looked and finally I glanced back in and the stagehand was down there well the tubes had plugged up and there was all <laughs> kinds of smoke down there and all I could see is this guy's eyes looking up at me like this out of the smoke and one of the few times I think I cracked up but he and then he went running he came running out of the post office on camera you caught him there's this guy's head going boom 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 <laughs> getting out of there he'd had it oh man <laughs> I, another question I have to ask is for example, Weird and Dirty Dragon, both very guttural, rough voices. You must have vocal cords of steel to have been able to do those every day. Well, the dragon's voice seemed to be easy for me to do. Um, uh, even thinking about this next voice <coughs> makes me have to clear my throat. Uh -oh. And I'm not going to do the voice, but it was Dr. Doompuss. Dr. Doompuss oh, sure. was a villain character, and mm. he, was, he was difficult. I had to really reach down for him. I, I patterned his voice a little bit after Lionel Barrymore, if anybody okay, watched sure. any old movies. 
and I, I'm tempted to try it, but no, it's too difficult. The dragon, however, <laughs> he comes far easier. That's great. And there is no male. Oh, um, thank goodness. But we, we should probably make this like, this is your life. I could, you know, say something like, Bill Jackson, do you remember this voice from your past? Far on to the dragon's <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I think I do. Uh, a very, very good friend of mine. Uh, he, he stuck to me for many years. The yeah, blob. Sure. The, the blob, blob, a favorite of many people. Another favorite thing was when you do the who's it drawings, where you would draw something and somebody would have to guess. And I was going to ask you if we could do that in our next segment. Sure. That sure. would be tremendous. Bill Jackson will be back. Meanwhile, back with our numbskull pals, the Stooges. You know, they, they worked in various artistic mediums, and they were old masters at the art of pie throwing and pie receiving. Their faces are the canvas, which pretty much get the Earl Scheib treatment with whipped cream and spook louder on Three Stooges, Stoogapalooza. Rich Coast here on Stoogapalooza, where we're examining the artistic side of the Stooges with paint by numbskulls, and we've got a real treat for all of us right now. One of my favorite things that the great Bill Jackson used to do on his shows was to draw a character, and all of us viewers had to guess who it was, so we've decided to do it. What did you call this, Bill? Who's it? Who's it? Okay, yeah. and I will be the guessor, and you <laughs> folks at home as well can do that. So, why don't you draw a character Are for you us? Ready? All, all right. right, we're ready. The idea is, if you're really good at this, Rich, you've got to guess early. Guess, guess early, early, okay. Yeah. All right. Guess early. All right. and who is it? Oh, that, of course, <laughs> is The Rock, who does that thing with his eyebrow. I've uh, seen him in hey. movies. He's... Oh, well, I have to draw something else now. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, not. All right, here we go. Oh, it's a mean-looking eye there. All right, well, let's, draw, let's, let's get something else going okay, there. we go. Uh -huh. Oh, what? That's uh, Martha a, Stewart. I'll give you a hint. He's got a duck on his head. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. That's my uncle. How did you know about that? All right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, wait. That, that looks kind of like a hat, maybe. Um, maybe so. And maybe uh, we'll add a little bit. Bold, bold strokes. You said. Bold yes, strokes, you always right? have to yes. draw with bold strokes and bold bright strokes. colors. Right. Wait, right. Right. is it is it Goofy? Uh, no, wait. I'm Goofy. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> no, it's not right. Goofy. This is going to oh, look so familiar. Right. It's so familiar. My oh. goodness. What are, what are we going to? Is there anyone at home? Is there anyone? <laughs> anyone who can? Yes, of course. Get on with it, Jackson. All right. There we go. We'll come around here like this. Oh, and wait. I oh, think oh that, that nose. It, it's yeah, here we Porky go. Pig when the Botox did not quite take, I believe. <laughs> oh, well, oh, uh, look at the bow tie. Yeah, and we got some fins here. Oh. Yes, I'll even... I was going to say Godzilla, but I don't think that's Godzilla. quite it. Oh, you say Godzilla around this guy, and he gets <laughs> oh. upset. He, he doesn't like the competition, you know. I think there we're going to we have go. to throw all the cards over. All right, and, uh, oh, little... see, this tips it in. We've got the smoke coming out here, and he's saying, Why <laughs> on... Sven. <laughs> All right, there we go. See, he even remembers Sven Gould. It's, it's of course, there we Dirty go. Dragon. Oh, yes. How it is. cool yes, is it that? Is. Yes, it is. And yes. wasn't I a heck of a guesser? <laughs> <laughs> There we are. Oh, fantastic. We always love that. Bill, thank you so much for doing this. And oh. I've mentioned before, uh, you were always a big influence on me. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've always tried to be like this guy, but I know I can never be as good it's as him. It's not my fault. It's not my <laughs> fault. <laughs> and Bill, do you have a website that uh, folks yeah, can check out? Yeah, DirtyDragon.com. DirtyDragon.com. Bill, thank yeah. you so much. Thanks this a lot, has been Rich. a real pleasure. Right now, fun. we're going to get back to our favorite stooge foray into the world of art. This one ends with a modeling clay fight that would definitely draw a protest from the blob. <laughs> Keep it up, he's going to want residuals. It's Pop Goes the Easel on Three Stooges, Stoogapalooza.